how to pick the best gaming monitor. Awesome guys for tuning in. Today we're gonna to look at a monitor from Asus TUF Gaming, the VG27AQL1A, which is a very nice 27 inch display in a WQHD resolution. And what's so special about this monitor? Why do I want to uh, highlight this particular version? And usually the IPS panels that I tested in the past, they usually tended to be on the slower side. This is a particularly fast IPS panel. That's, uh, that's very interesting for people who like this particular kind of monitor. I'm happy personally with 60 Hertz because I'm not a hardcore gamer, maybe a little bit casual on the weekend, but for someone who's serious, maybe competitive gaming, then the higher refresh rates could be interesting. And that's what we're gonna look at today with this Asus uh, connectivity device. We have very nice, you have this uh, gamer, gaming style design and you have two HDMI, a display port and two USB 3.0 on the back. So guys, let's uh, put this together and put the monitor to its paces. Awesome, we're here, let's get rolling. Terrific, then let's quickly have a look into the box. Uh, put everything together and see what cables are included. Terrific, and a sneak peek in the package reveals what cables are included. And unfortunately, only one cable included the display port, but should be enough for the gaming purposes. Display port is uh, to be preferred, in my opinion, over the HDMI because it tends to carry more data. And what things can you keep in mind when assembling the Asus gaming monitor? Obviously put it on a soft uh, surface, so to treat your new monitor very gently, remove the packaging material, and then we're gonna twist this uh, arm around, uh, twist the monitor around, and on the bottom, slightly different mechanism right here uh, with two screws. You pre-attach it by hand, and then maybe take a screwdriver to make sure it's a snug fit, and we are ready to use the monitor. Terrific, now I tested for you the ASUS TUF Gaming VG27AQL1A very fast uh, monitor and uh, the one consideration that you can keep is the inch size so in the side card you see 24 27 and 32 are the normal inch sizes that are very popular we have the 27 inch and the asus tof gaming that i have here the particular model version has the wqhd resolution of course, there are other things to consider, like the aspect ratio down here, 60 by nine, that's what we have with the Asus. There are also bigger ones. If you would jump, for example, to 32 by nine, uh, which I yeah, essentially would have two 27 inch side by side, like the Samsung Odyssey that I reviewed recently. That was a beast mode gaming monitor, but obviously very expensive and very particularly geared towards gaming. The 16 by nine is still the de facto standard when it comes to aspect ratios. Now, with this particular ASUS, we have the IPS panels, the panel types you can see here, we have twisted pneumatic, vertical alignment, and uh, in-plane switching. I'm a fav, uh, f uh, fan of the in-plane switching because it gives you a better viewing angles and colors in my opinion. And in my opinion, from testing different monitors, uh, quickly going to the graphics setting, Either uh, with my particular system, I'm running a 4K display at 60 Hertz, or I'm running a WQHD at let's say 120 Hertz. Everything else beyond that, you would probably need a very up-to-date system with one of these very expensive graphics cards. So keep that in mind. Um, other than that, you see I have put the settings on high with that. I can really say this system here, uh, this combination strikes a good balance for me. Uh, it's a WQHD resolution. For my taste, this gives me an absolutely sufficient sharpness. And you see the colors of this ASUS display with the IPS panel. I'm enjoying this a lot. Actually, that's something I noticed uh, in comparison to other displays I tested, that if I walk around here, you have uh, very good uh, black values. And yeah, I mean, I in, in would recommend this display most for people who like a fast IPS panel and who are happy with something that's not as demanding on your computer. Like I told you, if that would be a 4K display with 120 Hertz or higher, then the result would be you would have to have insane compute power 
which that's something you might want to keep in mind plus the 4k ips panels with the super high refresh rate they are not that many i looked at the manufacturers websites also they are sold but a little bit harder to get and usually more expensive so i think a wqhd with a high frame rate and the ips panel is a very excellent combination for a lot of people so asus positioned this at a nice spot uh, i can also encourage you to check out titanfall very nice game so let's jump to the conclusion awesome this concludes the review review of the asus tof asus tof gaming i should say asus guys and uh, yeah i really like this display it has really nice black values colors that pop and uh, in my opinion a good price value i pointed out to you in this video the different panel types as you can see here and i pointed out to you that this is an ips panel that's very very fast but obviously the higher the frame rate the more compute power you need with your graphics card and uh, i think this is a good strikes a good balance some people for them uh, wqhd display might be a no-go some people they really might want to have 4k however as i pointed to you out i had also this discussion with someone i know uh, he always wanted 4k 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 but i gave him a wqhd display to test and uh, surprise surprise um, the wqhd is also very sharp so totally very nicely usable guys this concludes the review let me know what other content you want to see i'm going to show you my channel page right here where you can find a bunch of different monitor reviews in the playlist monitors computer monitors i encourage you to do a little bit of a comparison learn the basics the different inch sizes the different aspect ratios and the different panel types i have introduced to you all those basics Awesome for tuning in. I see you in the next video and as a subscriber. Take care. And because you just watched one of my reviews, you might also be interested in comparing the products that I just showed you against, for example, this LG Ultrawide 4K monitor, which is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So normally the displays all have 16 by 9, but the ultra wides give you some extra flexibility and especially the curved ones are great for gaming, but I'm more a video editing guy. Awesome for tuning in. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video. Take care.